In this lesson, we're going to do a quick introduction to the unit circle. So far, I'm sure you've always done your measurement of angles in degrees. At this point, we're going to start using radians. Radians are a way of measuring angles that is relative to the length of the radius. So to begin, we always start in the initial position, which is the 3 o'clock position. We always rotate in a counterclockwise direction, going through quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4, back to our initial position again. So let's begin by looking at what happens when we rotate 1 pi radians. We come a full 180 degrees. If we rotate another pi radians, we have 360 degrees, or a full circle. Now we can also break this down further, as you can see. If we rotated half that much each time, we would end up with pi over 2, or half a pi, which is 90 degrees, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and 4 pi over 2. Now you see at the pi position, I said 2 pi over 2. It's an easy way to remember it because when you go by half pi's, 2 pi over 2 is just pi, but then you can you know what you're coming to next when you come to 3 pi over 2. Now let's break those down into half the size of angles again. This time we'll do 45 degree angles. This will give us pi over 4, because it's half as much as pi over 2, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4 brings us back to our initial angle. We'll make this trip around one more time. This time we'll do 30 degree angles. So this becomes pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, and 12 pi over 6 brings us back to 2 pi, or our initial position. So again, it might look a little confusing because we have some numbers like pi over 3, but if you just remember them as that's the same as 2 pi over 6, then all of your 30 and 60 degree angles work out really nicely. Let's look at some examples. 120 degrees is equivalent to what measure in radians? So all we do is come over here to 120 degrees and the answer is 2 pi over 3 radians. 7 pi over 4 radians is equivalent to what measure in degrees? Again, we rotate all the way around to 7 pi over 4, and that is 315 degrees. 210 degrees is equivalent to what measure in radians? We come around and it's 7 pi over 6 radians. So if you come across a situation where you have negative degrees or negative radians, Simply start in the same position, but rotate clockwise. Okay, now you can move on to the practice lesson and try it out for yourself.